Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill 2, where we last left off, we were exploring the hospital. So, we've managed to get the power back on. And now, it is time to go to the second floor. So, come on Maria, let's go. We've got plenty to explore, plenty to do, plenty of fools to shoot in the face. And we have the equipment. So, off camera, I actually uh, replayed most of this section again. Because we missed a collectible. That's not good. Hey. You okay? I'm sorry. That's fine. What's going on? Are you sure? It's nothing. Probably just a hangover. Maybe you should rest. as soon as I can. James? I wanted to ask you. What if you can't find Mary? What will you do? I haven't really thought about that. Back soon, okay? Well, I'm sure we're going to be back soon. In fact, let's go check on her now and have a chat. Because we need to do this to work towards her ending. Sorry, I just need a moment. Well, we could uh, make the pain go away permanently. Uh, maybe we can't. I'm alright. I'm just tired. All right, well, I guess we better leave her. There's no blanket there or anything. Doesn't look super comfy, but whatever. I suppose it's better than laying on the dirt in these halls. Hmm, where is that girl indeed? Now, we have way more ammo than um, I had before because I pretty much avoided as much combat as I could. Uh, Use the chainsaw a little bit. Which reminds me, might want to re-equip that. And, of course, top everything off. We avoided everything we possibly could. Right, there we go. Let's get rid of her. So we've finally got our first bobblehead nurses. And they are a little bit naughty in this game. They're certainly a little bit uh, stronger than they were in the original. But no matter. Because luckily we've come packing our size 13s. Okay, so looks like we've got a keypad. And the code has been reset to what we agreed on during yesterday's meeting in the doctor's lounge. Like I said, I don't want anyone writing it down. Oh, little piece of paper for me to find. Be responsible, people. Yeah, so that's a problem. I know the code, but... Technically, we don't have it just yet. 
Right, let's start having a little look around, shall we? We need to start heading towards... Uh, let's go to L3. And we can get in there via this little slippy hole here. Looks like we're not alone in here. Oh, wow. We've got a few enemies poking around in here. We've got a lion guy. I wonder if we can sneak around this guy, take him out from behind. Kind of, but not really. It's going to get difficult because there's a couple of them. He's gone. Whoop, whoop. Almost. Not quite sure why he was facing away from us. Kind of vomiting into the door. But, you know, I'll take it. I will take that. So, we've got some bullets. Sweet. Now, in here somewhere, there's a picture. Ooh, ooh. Nice try. Not so tough with three slugs in your chest, are you? Bitch. And now, uh, ooh. Some shotgun shells. We don't have a shotgun. Hopefully soon, that problem will fix itself. Evening. Doesn't sound good. Somebody's obviously having problems, or at least somebody had problems when they were here. But that makes sense. Her drawings. Whose drawings? Are we talking about Laura's drawings? We may never know. Alright. That's pretty much everything in here, I think. Cool, let's go bust the door open. Oh, open the door, James. There we go. Yeah, what have we got here? Patient's room L2. I don't believe we can get in there yet. No. Let's go right round the outside. Checking the doors as we go. So, I'm guessing Maria... Yeah, Maria's still sleeping. She's okay. Need to make sure that she's safe and happy. Or at least as safe and as happy as can be in this nightmarish hellscape. Anything in the toilet? Yeah, looks like it's just... Oh, bullets, yep. I was going to say, it looks like it's just full of, you know, standard toilet stuff. We don't like standard toilet stuff. We like large quantities of firepower. I do like these patient rooms. You know, one thing they really did um, improve in this game, I think, is the exploration. The exploration is so much fun in this game. We can't go through that way. That's unfortunate. I suppose we've got to go around the outside. That's just a poster, isn't it? Leave the rest to us. Take care of what matters most and leave the rest to us. Well, <coughs> it's a nice sentiment, but it doesn't look like there's an awful lot of care happening in this hospital anymore. Maybe it used to. Maybe it used to be a very nice place. I somehow doubt it. And there is a glimpse of the past from the original game. Another typewriter. Shame we don't have any ink ribbons. I think that would have been a cool little Easter egg, actually. We had some uh, ink ribbons. Okay, so let's go open this door before we proceed any further. Oh, hello. You ain't fooling no one, sweetheart. You ain't fooling no one. Anyway, before we explore this room too much, let's crack you open. Let's see if we can harvest up any goodies in here. Nope. Ooh. Exactly what we want. We don't know we want this yet, but we'll take it. Annotation. Following interview was conducted with unknown. In response to instant uh, zi uh, 071. I remember lying in water 
empty. Then I felt him. I felt him stare. He was close, very close. I had to get out. I had to get away. But he followed. He kept staring. So I made him stop. Now I'm empty again. Can we go back to the pool? Well, we will be going back to the pool. Don't you worry your little head about it. But not yet. We need to head inside. To the meat and potatoes of this area. Oh. I mean, I appreciate your dedication, but... So, patient file three. <sighs> patient number 0050, designation, blah, blah, blah. Patient room number C1. Initial symptoms, sudden outbursts of aggression, visual and auditory hallucinations, current diagnosis. Current therapy is considered ineffective. Unprovoked outbursts declined. Social interactions improved. What did I miss? Recommendations. Continue with the current therapy. Water has a calming effect. It used to. Hmm. Okay. We've been in their room already. Patient number 09. Designation, blah, blah, blah. Room number D1. Initial symptoms. Sens sensory delusions. Current diagnosis, insomnia. Refuses food, water. Delusions persist. Recommendations, force feeding and hydration. Bathing required to be carried out in the treatment room. Sleep, medication, constant surveillance. All right. Three very messed up individuals, looks like. And then file one. Patient number 13. Uh, room number S3, move to L1. Initial symptoms, intense and unrelenting anxiety. Current diagnosis, symptoms have intensified into full-blown paranoia. Visual hallucinations, recommendations, increase medication, cannot be left, be, uh, left alone. Move to L1 for closer monitoring. All right, so we have three patients. Hmm, and a hand holding a key. Very curious indeed. Coffee time. Well, that looks like a load of nonsense, and it's missing a button. So, no time to worry about that just yet. We have another save place, which is nice. Nice save square. All right, well, so we have our memos. We have somewhat of an objective. Now, we've done the C1. Hmm. Let's start exploring these rooms. We've seen Maria. Let's head this way, shall we? Have a little scout. Nurse? Hello, nurse. Glad to finally meet you. Be with you in a minute, nurse. You're in for some training. Okay, we're going to teach her a thing or two about lead pipe surgery. Where has she gone? Where is she? Hello, nurse. You're right there. Hey, you know what? Let's see if we can't take her out. Oopsie. There we go. All oh, right in the face. Uh, they don't like that. That'll do. Cool. Keep those 
corners checked. We've got some rather nasty customers in this uh, hospital. All paying customers, I assume. Alright. So, M4. Seems to be clear. Got another hallway to stalk. Can't go through there. M1. Ah, oh, this place crawls. At least it sounds like it does. It's definitely some audible static. Now, what do we have here? Ah, that was where the lockbox was in the original game. Yeah, things have moved around a little bit since then. It's uh, a bit of a remix, if you will. I don't have anything for that door just yet. Let's move on towards the nurse's locker room. Here we find a teddy bear. Teddy bear that's seen better days for sure. Ooh. That's a curious object. We have a bent needle. Now, in the original game, we got a um, a hook. I think it was called a hook. Um, but it wasn't actually a needle. I like the fact that it has been changed to a needle because it makes sense to find one. Now, there is a spicy sausage. And we're going to be pocketing that bad boy. The shotgun in this game is incredibly satisfying. It's a really cool weapon. The rifle... Uh, the rifle's alright. You know, it's... You'll see the rifle later. Oh. Hello, nurse. Nice to see you back again. Take a knee for me, please. There we go. It's the end of her. For now. Okay, cool. So, let's check out the nurse's lounge. I've already been in here. I wonder if we're going to find some nurses. Hello. In the nurse's lounge. Come on, love. Let's be having you. There we go. Take a knee for me. And then take a boot to the face. That's what you're good for. There we go. It's like Friday nights at A&E. Now. Let's explore. Nothing? Well, I mean, if you say so. A little bit light on supplies. Some... Ah, key. Somebody left the TV on. Not much on by the look of things, though. L1 room key. Any goodies? Come on. Throw us a bone. Nothing? Doesn't look like it. Ah. Shame there's no nurses in the shower. Would have cheered us up for a while. Okay, so we have a new key. Excellent. Now that key, I believe, we get to use downstairs. So let's do that. Now this um, area is incredibly stuttery. Like the game's saying it's running at over 100 frames a second, but it does not feel like that at all. It feels at times like it's barely running. At 30, if I'm honest. Hello, ladies. Don't mind me. Just going for the kill. Yes, there we go. Beautiful. Happy with that. Come on. Come on. I've got your retirement package here. There you go. You are relieved of duty. Ow. 
No, that is not how this is supposed to go, love. You are a tough bitch, aren't you? Ow, my face. It's me that's supposed to do the piping, love. Oof. Okay, she was a spicy one, wasn't she? Obviously hadn't been paid. All right, shotgun shells. Lovely. Okay, let's head back downstairs. I suppose we could check on Maria, see if she's okay. She should be. Yep, she's fine. She's good. She's chilling. Now. Let's open you. And go all the way down. I say all the way down, just to the next floor down, and see what's been happening here. Can't go in there yet, but that's all right. We now have a toilet to search, apparently. Don't mind if I do. Empty. Uh, I guess that one's occupado. Sorry, dude. Might see them later. Guide to proper hygiene, eh? Looks like they certainly need... Wait, what do you mean? Oh, I've been stupid, haven't I? Yep, getting ahead of myself. Let's go to the L1 room. And we will not be leaving anytime soon. I am way ahead of myself here. So I believe, or am I ahead of myself? L1, where's that? Uh, L3, ah, right, yeah, yeah, we have. We've done goofed. We need to be up here. We need to go through here. Please say, good, I opened that door. It's an annoying door to forget to open, I'm going to be honest. Alright there, love. She'll probably get up later. Bless her. We just have to put her back down again. I'm not really sure how the enemies get back up. I don't know whether it's timed or if it's random or what, really. But they certainly like to stay mobile. But this room is curious. Very quiet, very dark. Hmm. Hopefully it's not going to stay too quiet and dark. Oh. Get the feeling something else may be in here with us. But no matter. Yep, something is definitely scurrying around. That's okay. I'm sure we'll bump into them sooner rather than later. Right, up and at them, James. There we go. Hmm. They brought in the girl today. Poor thing hasn't said a word. She just sits there, head in her hands, sobbing and quivering. I moved her to the corner bed. Seems to have calmed her down a bit. She even smiled at me, I think. Ha. Huh. Okay. Well, no time to worry about such things. I guess that's the little girl's little hidey hole. She made herself a little fort. Is that Laura, I wonder? It might be. Might be talking about Laura. We may never know. Oh. Go right there, sweetheart. What's going on? Someone's having some fun behind the uh, drywall. Well, if they're having fun, it seems only fair that we go and have some fun. It's all happening behind the drywall. Oof. 
that would not have been a fun place to be stuck and, uh, I don't know, starve to death? To, to death? Starve to death. Certainly not. Okay. Well, at least we're not in the wall anymore. Hmm. What is this? Why won't they help me? Why do they keep me in here with him? Okay. There's obviously a lot of messed up stuff going on here. And there is the, uh, one of the cards from the original game. I do love how they've, um, kept those little nods to the OG game. It's really cool. Those glimpses of the past are such a genius little idea. Kind of simple when you think about it, but it really does bridge a nice little connection to the new game and the old game. Marked bracelet. Ah. Well. Doesn't appear there's much we can do with that. Oh, you finally decided to join us, did you? There you are. Oh, maybe you should have stayed in the wall, friend. Certainly would have uh, ended better for you. Right, let's go and see if Maria is okay. We've left her alone for a while. Let's go check on her. After all, she's been resting for a little while. She took a big handful of unknown pills. Uh, let's make sure nothing bad has happened to her. Hey. Any luck finding Laura? Not yet. How are you holding up? I'll be okay. Just need a bit more rest. James, thanks for checking up on me. It's very sweet of you. Yeah. Oh. Get some rest. I'll be back soon. Well, that's going to give us some brownie points towards her ending. Now, to get the Maria ending, uh, it's yeah the hardest one to actually get. So, I'm not exactly being super hopeful, but we're going to certainly try. Anyway, so, let's see where have we been, where have we not been. I think we need to go upstairs. Into the basement. Um, yes, yes, let's go upstairs. We haven't been in there yet, have we? No, cool, that's fine. We still can't get in that room. Again, that's fine. Now, at some point, we're going to be able to open that... Door up. Hello. Hey, are you okay? <gasps> Go away. Don't be afraid. I just want to talk. We're not going anywhere anytime soon, Laura. We need to have a little chat after all. Anyway, guys, I think this is a good time to save it. We've been recording for half an hour already. Like, geez, I don't know about you guys, but that went fast for me. Good Lord. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. When we come back, well, we've still got quite a bit to do. Yes, much more exploration to come.